Obstetricians. Colonel Boyko. Natalia, PMC observation. Move over. How many injured? The uh, 20 people at the far end of the building. And there was only one class. Yogu with pregnant women. They have a massage room across the hall. So, 10 pregnant women plus the instructor and the masseuse. Easy, easy, easy. Careful, careful. That's the last of the light injuries. The others are on their way to the hospitals. The badly injured are downstairs. Rustam! Here! Come here. Escort the medics. Yes, sir. Currently, we still have very little information at this moment. But as you just saw, a team of obstetricians have arrived. They're making their way inside the building right now, so there's still hope that someone can be saved. It's like war. And so she chose her daughter over her granddaughter. I don't believe the mother could talk Lyra into it. So they left without the baby girl. Now she'll gain a little weight and go to the home. Well, first of all, that remains to be seen. And secondly, if she survived in the bin. I believe in her too. We need to find her a family. Oh, Nadyushka syndrome. Although, I suppose, why not? Zamyatina. The one from under the Kamaz. Did you see her, Mom? I wouldn't wish that granny on my worst enemy. I'll call her. What are you thinking about, Jackson? Just get married. Calm down, please. Work is underway to rescue you. We'll get you out soon. We have a connection established. Can she hear us? Of course. Please, try not to move. Do you hear me? Please, try not to move. What is your pregnancy term? 36 weeks. Do you have any pain? Are you able to move your limbs? I'm scared. That's normal. We won't go anywhere without you. Please get me out of here. What's your name? My name is Igor. Excellent. Is this your first child? I had an abortion. First labor. Can you make a phone call? To whom? To Buddy. Is this your husband? Yes, so lucky. Come on, well done. You jumped under the table just in time. They say do your best and God will do the impossible. What's your name? Gromova. Diana Georgievna. 39 years old. The term is 37, 38 weeks. This is my third labor. Uh, I feel pretty decent, and uh, labor hasn't started. You talk so smoothly. Are you a doctor or an accountant? Or a prosecutor? <laughs> no, I'm a judge. <laughs> we'll be lifting you up soon. So there's a chance we won't be giving birth down here. Yeah. I'm, I'm cold. <laughs> Vika! Can you hear me? No! My water broke! Oh god! Easy! Calm down! It's okay, breathe! So then we'll just have the baby here. Oh, why is the door open? And why isn't anyone running to see Mommy? Semyon, Marushka! Mommy! Mommy! What's going on? A flood? Well? Semyon, are you mommy? asleep? What is it, my darling? What, my dear? What is it? Semyon. Uh. Semyon? Samushka. Seconds, pain. All over the abdomen, lower back, pelvis, shingling pain. It's unbearable. Okay, wait. You and I are still a third of the way through. I realize we're on a stressful fast track here. But let's get geared up for a marathon. I can't do a marathon. Victoria! 
Victoria, can you hear me? There are only two things that will save us. Proper breathing and rest during contractions. Victoria, you've been taught to breathe properly, right? You took the classes. I don't remember anything. Let's try it together. Come on, you're gonna exhale now, and with that, you are breathing out everything. Pain, fear. Come on, you can scream and groan. Stasa, can you manage? Yes. I'll go check on our second group. Here, hold this. I'm here for now. Vika! Vika! Well, another victory. Okay, listen up. Can you feel your legs? No, I can't feel them. Attention. Shield back in place. I can't feel my legs. I... I can't move my arms. I can't feel anything. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with the baby? What's wrong with the baby? <laughs> what have you got? Looks like a spinal fracture. Antenatal fetal death. Heartbeat is not audible. No movement either. Massive bleeding. And abdominal trauma by the looks of it. We've just received information that there is a risk of a repeated collapse of the building. Alexei Nikolovich, Nadia, there's a pregnant woman blocked in an elevator. Uh -huh. They can't free her yet. Go there. The rescue is working there. They need your help. Gotcha. Natalia. Wait. What about me? The patient needs to be escorted. You're going with her. What does that have to do with me? <sighs> Mishka won't survive without your bone marrow. Mm -hmm. So you think if his mother dies, that's okay? I can't leave. I have to stay. You're such an idiot. Here. Let's go. Let me introduce Maria and Lev. And her? Her. Just a girl. For now. And why was she abandoned? Well, Mom's just a kid. 16 years old. She just couldn't. Is she from a bad family? Not if you mean alcohol and drugs. No. Everything's fine. She's healthy. From a well-off family. Uh, uh, what if the mother comes back for the child? Not now, but maybe in a few years? She'll grow up, come to her senses, and will be taken to court. Can that happen? Yes. In life, anything can happen. I, I don't want to. I can't. I, I can't, I can't go through it again. This happened because I didn't want him. I already have the two, and then this promotion. I didn't have time for maternity leave. And then I just waited and waited until it was too risky. Your baby's alive. Listen, do you hear that? Your child's alive. I was just informed by the emergency services. In the far wing of the building, there's been a second collapse floor. It's hard to say for now how serious that is and if there are any casualties. And now I will ask the cameraman to show you what is happening behind my back. As you can see, emergency services are rushing to the new collapse. Stop it! 
What are you reading? The Lost World. Oh, that's a good book. And I loved Return of the Musketeers. Have you read it? One for all and all for one. <laughs> you passed the test. Well done. Oh. Yeah? No connection? Don't know anything, yeah? Okay, I got it. Yes, thank you. Is there something wrong? No, it's okay. Take this. Mm, tastes different. You didn't mix it up, did you? No, Jan, I didn't. Alexander? What happened? Did someone die? Yes. Who? Semyon Simonovich. <gasps> Sasha. Dina just called. He's with Mariska. There's no one to stay. His heart. Yes. How is she? I didn't recognize her voice. I need <sighs> someone to cover for me. I have to go. Sasha, I'll go. Marushka doesn't know you very well. All right, go. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Semyon Semyonovich has died. How many... How many years working, but I've never gotten used to death. Especially when they're young. And Semyon, he was barely 50 years old. Observation. What? Okay, thank you. Who is it? Huh? Another collapse in the yoga center. Our guys are inside. Okay. So, call, c call Magrav. We need to close the center immediately. Qu quickly! Everyone? Come on, come on, pick up the phone. Come on. Oh. Pavel, did they come back? No, they're under the rubble. Uh, is Alexei there? Yes. Yes. Easy. Oh. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. Just breathe. It hurts so much. Nurse, nurse. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. Oh. Nurse, Gurney oh. here, please. I don't want to die. Vika, tell me about your happiest memory. My birthday. On the last day of holidays. Waiting for the train? Yes, to Milan. There's a strike. The trains aren't running. Oh. Andre, I'm... I want to tell you something. What? No. Let me do it first. Go first. When Sonia and I had the accident, she was expecting a baby. 
If there had been a doctor like you in the hospital, maybe she would have been saved. Then you know what happened? Three years went by, and you came, and... It's... a different life. Not too deep, but... And you? What did you want to say? No, nothing. Well, Irina, got yourself into this? Is there any news? No. Full dilation. Water's not broken. We have to pierce. Are we performing amniotomy? Bullet forceps. Have you done this before? Yeah. Irene, focus here. Okay. Well... The water is green. Is that a bad thing? Risk of hypoxia. Call the neonatologist. I don't feel anything. What don't you feel? I don't feel contractions. Genya, let's stop. have an ultrasound. Let's get her to the OR. Okay. Come on, come on, okay. come on. Let's hurry. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tell me, are you okay? I'm fine. Is the baby definitely fine? Everything is fine. The heartbeat is excellent. Don't even worry. Thank you. Thank you. So what do we have here? Well, the worst is over. The route is almost clear. We should be able to leave soon. Uh-huh. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? It's Everything nothing. will be fine. They will clear it. Stop it's it. It's nothing. I just realized what a miracle it is to live, and... I guess it's... We got here for a reason. We have to be happy. To wake up in the morning. To take a deep breath. Even if you're feeling sick. Or you haven't slept well, and you're riding in this jam subway to work. There will be another day, and there will be another day, and another. We can do anything. We can do anything. We really have a chance to make things better. And some people don't have that opportunity. We have to believe in ourselves. To study, to become the best doctor, to save thousands of lives. I will definitely study. <laughs> we can have children, and we can teach them about the world around us. And to love. To love like no one has ever loved. <laughs> you know, someone is very lucky. <laughs> Okay, we've cleared the route. Let's get out. Ah, oh, great, guys. See? Shall we? Come on. Vika, we want to determine if the baby is coming out head or legs first. Mm -mm. Can you understand that? Yes. <sighs> We really need your help now. Can you manage? Come on, good girl. Spread your legs as wide as possible. She can't. It's okay. Put your hands around your knees. Now push. Push really, really hard. Push, 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 push. There, okay, well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Okay, okay. Now you need to try and lift him up. Try to lift him up. Yes, and release his mouth and nose. Okay. Just with your finger. If there's anything, cover him with it. Natalia, our guys have made their way to your guy. You can speak to him here. I have the radio. Alexei Nikolovich, Nadia, how are you? I'm fine. Nadia's unconscious. Craniocerebral trauma. A beam fell on her. Why didn't you leave?
Okay, no pulsation, no respiration, clinical death. Starting CPR, assessing the vein. What if she... Nadia. Clear. Clear. Well, as I say, never a good time for births, deaths, or taxes. Legovich, let's go. Scalpel. <clears throat> Look. No, no, I can't. Pavel Alekovich, we have no time for doubt. I can't. Shane, Komogorov is coming. Go call him quickly. It's okay. It's all right. Shenya. Scalpel. Shenya, don't. You'll kill her. Shenya. Scalpel. Shenya, don't. You're going to kill her. Pavel, Genia. come here. Get out of here. I said get out. Get out of the operating room. Now. Get out. Clear. On the monitor. This is Dole. Okay, ending CPR. She's gone. Confirming time of death at 1530. <laughs> Isn't she crying? Well, she is now. Very much so, Mom. It's all right. Well, Stitches? Stitches. Why are you here? Huh? To calm me down or to finish me off? My mom got sick when I was 15. The only thing she wanted was to live to see me grow up. So that I wouldn't be sent to a home. Before she died, she suffered terribly. She didn't sleep, she didn't eat. I was already working part-time as a hospital nurse. And I decided to steal medicine for her. To end it all. She wasn't breathing when I got there. But I would have done it. So what? You confess something embarrassing. I just panicked and almost killed a child and maybe his mother. Because there are people under the rubble who are... They're strangers to you. I understand. Why not take advantage of the situation now and earn some brownie points? Please. But listen, it starts with a resident who has not performed a single independent surgery and ends with an intern. And then in some miraculous way, the medical history gets your signature as lead surgeon. 
Yuri Alexeyevich, there are cameras, and they recorded the entire mess. So write a letter. A letter? Write the letter or I'll do it myself tomorrow. A letter of dismissal for someone who may not even be alive? Are you crazy? Oh my god. She rushed straight to the rubble. <laughs> she rushed to the rubble and took everyone with her. <laughs> she didn't even leave a single doctor in the center. Not a single one. It's okay. Another nightmare? Mm -hmm. And where's Bazanov? He's here. What time is it? Soon they'll take him into the OR. Mm -hmm. Natal, what are you worried about? Well, what can happen? Allergy to anesthesia? pulmonary embolism. Well, that's impossible. You realize that? It's just two or three punctures in the bones. <sighs> yes, of course. So now, should we get on a podium to celebrate for bravery? I want coffee. I'll get it. I'll get it myself. How long is this going to stay here? It's scaring people away. Pablo Legovich, take some time off. I'm fine. Offer it to Bagarov. He was the last one to see her anyway. How are you? Good. You, on the other hand. Thank you. Hmm. <sighs> Natalia, maybe you should stop thinking that you have to save every person on this planet. It's starting to look more like vanity than nobility. Her mother is coming to pick up her things today. Well, don't go. You've got your son's surgery. Good excuse. Why are you punishing yourself, huh? Thank you for Mishka. Come on. You'll thank me later when the bone marrow works. Thank you for Mishka. Wish me luck. I want to be there. And I don't. I don't want you to see me as a naked shrimp with a stabbed ass. <laughs> but she's allowed to? She's not allowed either. But she has to be there. Thank you for Mishka. It's going to be okay.
Natalia, I'm sorry to bother you on a day like this. Alexei Nikolaevich has scheduled a cesarean today for Crystal Tasia. He says it's dangerous to wait and needs your approval. He's right. We've been stalling as long as we could. Wait, you can do it. Alexei Nikolaevich can. Vasenka, what if he's like me? What if he breaks when they take him out of me? And then, after each touch, his glass bones might... What have we done? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, are you ready? No. She's afraid that he's Crystal. Tasia. you've made your decision. Your child either has inherited osteogenesis imperfecta or not. We can't do anything about it now. We can only help him out. He may break in your hands. Do you realize that? Well, of course we do. So I promise to be extremely careful more than ever. I want Natalia Vladimirovna to do it. She already saved me once, and Max Yutka, if it wasn't for her- I've already her, explained to you she can't. But she can! Tosanka? I'll go to her. Natalia Vladimirovna, Tasi is asking you to perform the operation. Natalia, go. Natalia, she's come all the way from her goddamn Arctic Circle. You have to. Do you think maybe if I help her, God will save Mishka? Go. beautiful green blouse. It had a sparkle and it really suited her eyes. And now she's gone. What do I do? What now? Hello. Hello. Hello, doctor. I really want you to meet the one. That doctor. This person that she's been talking about non-stop all the time. Natalia Vladimirovna this and Natalia that. Natalia Vladimirovna is a hero. Why did you send her there? Into all that rubble? What is she? A fireman? A rescuer? She's not even a doctor. I've seen heroes like you. Not even a tear at the funeral. I looked at you. Go away. Natalia Vladimirovna, we have everything ready. I told her that I need her hands to go with us. I knew that the building was about to collapse, and I didn't send her back. I shouldn't have called you here. You should go back to your son. He's only one years old. 
But he's already been through chemotherapy. His immune system is crushed. He's lying there alone. And he doesn't understand why his mom isn't around. Why he keeps vomiting from these cyclophosphamides. And for the next two weeks, he'll have blood transfusions and antiviral drugs. And no one in the world will tell me whether this bone marrow will work or not. <laughs> Go and get Komogrov. So, how's our beautiful lady? Alexander? Alexei Nikolaevich, and to you? Tasia, unfortunately we can't wait any longer. But Natalia promised me she won't be able to. We are starting. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Don't worry. Scalpel. Alexei Nikolaevich, wait. I'm operating and you're assisting. Vika, coat. Tazia, hello. I'll be performing the surgery. Natalia Vladimirovna asked me to take over for her. I don't know you. That's not a problem. Let's introduce ourselves. My name is Yuri Alexeyevich Kolmogorov. I am the chief physician of this hospital and also Natalia's teacher. I was against you staying in our hospital because if something had happened, the center would have been closed immediately. But don't worry. I'll do everything I can to make sure nothing bad happens. And everything will go the way we need it to. Don't worry. Well, can I begin? Why are you here? I've come to make you happy. Hurry up while I'm under anesthesia. Ruslan, all I need is the head of the wonderful observation department. I don't get it. Where's Bakhmativa? Well, as Michel likes to say, the party is over. As Misha likes to say, you can take yourself right to hell. Got it? Ruslan, your refusal won't save her. And you should realize that you won't get a similar offer for the next five years, if you ever will. So why all this self-sacrifice? Uh-huh. How do you know such kind of words? Which ones? Conscience? Honor? Dignity? Close friendship? Or even unrequited love? Roslan Evgenievich, do you need anything? Yeah. Take this piss pot. This one. Everything's all right. Oh. Mom, meet your son. He's not Crystal. It's not clear yet. We need to do all the genetic tests. Then we'll see. Now, now, now. Just a second. Careful. He's looking good. Healthy way too. Why is he crying like that? He should be crying. If he's crying, it means that it's all right. He's just a little cold. Now we'll warm him up. It's all right. It's okay. Stitches, did you hear that? I'm leaving. I just want to be with my son. Well, when the result of the transplant becomes clear, will No, you... I'm not coming back. Because of that nurse? Yes, I am responsible for Nadia's death. I also almost killed a patient today. And I couldn't do my job. Natalia, you have a talent for saving people. You must, you have to do it. My hands are shaking, I can't operate. Okay then, you can save people without holding a scalpel in your hands. You know very well that the vast majority of women who come to your operating table are able to deliver perfectly well. If only a competent gynecologist would make an accurate diagnosis or knock some sense into their heads. 
What is it, Nittal? I remembered why I fell in love with you. <sighs> Who could you suggest for your position? Any thoughts? Bazanov. Okay. What's this? Nadia's mom brought it. I wonder why she kept all this. It seemed to me that she didn't care. As far as I knew her, she did care. I was the one who gave the rescuer the baby, and I went to help her mother. He put the baby on the concrete floor, and everything started burning and collapsing there. A concrete beam. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, I'll be right there. You're like Dr. House. Only the stick is missing. I can't sleep. I only fall asleep in the morning two or three hours. That's what a woman has to do to make a manipulator. Lose sleep. To die saving a child. Let's get drunk. Well, if this is the beginning of a good, strong friendship, then let's do it. Yeah. I'll just change. I'll be at your Bentley in 15. It's a BMW. Tasenka? What's wrong? It's just... Yuri Alexievich just came in. The test results are ready. He is not Crystal Vasenka. He... he our boy is absolutely healthy. <laughs> I told you so. Our baby's gonna be fine. <laughs> Washed. I was offered. Your position, but I turned it down. Where's Andrei Pavlovich? He'll be right with you. Do you have any news? Please, doctor. Yes, the bone marrow is working, so we'll loosen the sterile regime now. Can I see him? Yes. My little one. Hi. Hello, my darling. You're my sweetie. Go for it. If you are the head, I will be calm. Hi. My Mishka.
Yeah.